hello it's Sarah and I'm back with more ATCs um, I think after this share I'm gonna do um, put together some things and I'll do a little tutorial and I'm considering these collage ATCs in the style of collage because they're not there's not a lot of mixed media going on it's a lot more of just embellishing with um, well this time I use stamps so um, let me show you what I did I have this little I don't know Rubbermaid thing that I just have some random images in here things I've stamped on um, Nina solar white cardstock and just colored up and you know like I have this Christmas one stuff like that like I don't know just when I felt like coloring I'll just do that and on the bottom there were some even fussy cutout images of mostly lawn fawn um, little things because I was making my ornaments. So like here's a flamingo um, sayings. There's there's a penguin. Anyway, there's bird houses, all types of stuff. So that's kind of nice to have. Like when you feel like coloring, just um, set them aside, put them in a little Tupperware because then what happened was I went and dug out a few images. And it saves you the time of having to do all of it, like cut, um, <clears throat> stamp and color and cut, and then make the card. You actually can just go right into it, which was fun. So this one is pretty cute. I um, I had said before too in another uh, <clears throat> video that I cut some of my scrap paper into three and a half by two and a half inch um, pieces so that I could just grab some background paper. And this is actually. It looked, it was a grassy scene with a big tree and stuff. So it was kind of, I don't know. And my lovely subscriber, um, <clears throat> Mary Allen, had sent me these beautiful trims and I am loving them. I am using this one as like my grass. It's a, These are May Arts trims and she was so kind to send me several different types and um, I've been using them. So. For this guy, I used that mesh trim for the grass, and these I had all of these pieces cut out already. They were already colored and cut, so I just kind of popped a few up and um, placed them on there and made a little farm scene. And you could add words to this. I just inked the edges of the card. I didn't. I didn't do anything else to the. Um, I put a little cowbell around the cow. This is from a different set. Like this is um, lawn fawn stamps. Actually, if you don't know. This one's called Critters on the Farm, and my light is so glary today. Um, you know what, maybe I should just, I don't know if that's better, there's still glare. And these are wonderful, these stamps. They're, they're such good quality. This is the other one that I'm gonna be showing. This one's called Critters Ever After. I'm gonna turn the light back on and just try to put it in a different area. Um, sorry about that. but. They're so fun um, and they're little, so you can make, so this one, look. Now this paper I've had forever and it's by EK Success and it's a Disney stack. It's a little uh, eight by eight Disney stack. I think I got it at Joann's on clearance, but it has like some of the princesses and some glittery paper and different stuff like that. And I just saw this castle scene and thought that would be perfect for a background so I cut a couple of those up and I put the unicorn on this one and a cloud. This cloud is from um, a lawn fawn stamp set and just added some embellishments and a little bit of glitter pen and different things like that. Then this one's the, um, the dragon and these are my buttons again and I'm loving, loving, loving these buttons. They're such great little embellishments. These are all Brad's, these stars, the hearts of Brad. I put be brave and um, just some trims and that I love that mesh trim again but that is super cute and just trims then this one I love and she was in my stash already cut and colored and this ba I just had done her such a soft kind of peachy her little tutu and um, this is that May Arts ribbon again this time I went with the brown that Mary Ellen sent me because I liked that the brown was in the background I love this one just the colors of it and I kind of made her to go with her type thing. This is my little fairies. Um, so super cute. And then this is some more fairies and I can't remember the name and they're over there and I don't remember which ones it was, but these again were already cut out. Um, 
I had to trim off the bottom of her to make her fit on here and just grabbed some paper. I think these are um, K and Company papers that kind of look flowery like they're down in the flowers and um, added some trims. This is these dragonflies, this dragonfly. I colored this. Look at that shimmer. This is that Lemur um, by Jacquard Halo Blue Gold. I love this color for dragonflies and I kind of water it down a little. Um, this is a fabric paint, I believe, but I've got it in a few colors, and it just looks so cool on a dragonfly, and this is the stamps that I was sent. I want to say it was Irene that sent me these with my pennant, and I'm loving them. There's a little dragonfly in here, a butterfly, so I just stamped him and cut him out and put him up there. So that's one of two fairies I did. And then these little fairies are, um, these kind of all four go together. Um, this stamp set is a long, um, greeting farm stamp set. And these are called Fairy Princess. They're right here. And I've, I've done other things with this. I've done a little canvas with these. But they're super fun and they're the perfect size for an ATC. So that's what you got to do is look through your stamps and find little ones. Um, so let's start with her. I love this. I grabbed paper that was kind of had a starry background and then I should, this is actually a um, Prima paper that I used on this one and these two probably, these should have been a pair because I used the pink and pink and green. It's pink and green. I love pink and green. And I have to throw in that blue, which is my fave too. But these are the Lawn Fawn stamps, the castle and the frog. Um, it's just a little bling dragonfly, a little bling, and a cloud. And this is my cloud punch, actually, that I just put some Wink Estella on. And then her, this is the mushroom from the stamp set. I cut that out, um, stickled her up, put one of those dragonflies on here and a star in the sky and a flower and some of that May Arts ribbon, but they're so cute. Look how precious. I just love them. So that's kind of a set. And then these two, this is more of the um, the star paper. Um, I just colored up a couple more fairies. These are big dragonflies. I don't even know where I got these. I think on clearance again. I just grab stuff, random stuff sometimes, and then you have it when you, you know, when you go looking through. But I just like kept these white I put a little bit of um, lace trim underneath. Um, this is like a pretty, I, ha I hardly ever use it, um, pearl and like rosette looking trim. Put the pearls down the side and then one of my silver filigrees that I love and put a few pearls on that and some stars in the sky. But to keep it like a sky, like they're up in the sky, I kept it all white and silver. So those are those two. So I think Oh, I wanted to show you her. So this is some more of the paper that's from this paper line. Um, this is actually from this paper right here. I cut her into a two and a half by three and a half Cinderella because she's beautiful. And I just made her the star of the show there because she's already glittered and put this came with a different Disney paper that I had like from on clearance. Um, this it's a Brad. And then there's one of my buttons again. I love those buttons and I just put like the little frog prints, excuse me, down there and a flower that kind of pulled that red out of that flower. So very simple, this one, you know, really didn't have to do much to it. Um, I wanted to share too, I did just get some, a little, a little um, haul video. I got some more buttons. I also stopped at Target and I got one of these, um, I'm going to have to go away and come back. It's actually two. Two st uh, stacked on top of each other of three drawers. Because I was keeping all this stuff in little baggies in like a big thing like this. And I still have some stuff in here. And it was just, you know, I mean, you had to go through it and find. So it's still some things. Like this is my bling. Um... Uh, pearls and things like that but this is where I decided to put all my buttons and I use these a lot and today look what I got today at AC Moore these are so these are pocketbooks so I can just see my prima dolls when I do them and I have a couple stamped out here that I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making a couple cards next too I just bought 
the envelope punch too, and I want to show you that. Let's see, look. So here's a little Prima doll with a handbag. Perfect. Perfect size. So there's little handbags. These shoes I just thought were so cute that you could just embellish an ATC with or whatever. Look at these princesses. Aren't they adorable? So I could have put a little princess right there with that um, castle. Oh my gosh, I think I have to. <laughs> um, these are actually smaller than the ones that I love. And this was the only one they had of these. They're called Pixie Dust. But this is the normal size of these um, flowers. And then these are about half the size of it. Oh, glare. Bad glare. Love, love, love them. And this was the only pack they had of them the first time I ever saw them in this size. And they're just really sweet colors, little um, pastel colors with like almost a glittery background. And look at these gnomes. Oh my gosh. So to hang out with my fairy here, I could have put a little gnome there. How cute is that? See? So all of these things, um, I have tons more I have. All these once upon a time stuff, surfboards, fish, um, more princesses. I wanted to show you this, the once upon a time book. Once upon a time. Um, so don't think that, you know, and I also have metal um, embellishments as well um, that I didn't use actually any I used, this is actually one of those little buttons. I just tied in the gold. I wanted to make the flower gold, and I didn't have any gold buttons, so I just kind of, it's it's just like a, I don't know, it's a gold-looking thing with brown. It matched the colors. Um, I did not use any charms on these, but I did get today um, some dragonfly charms, uh, I, use, I love the filigrees, as you guys know, but this, and this is, I like this because instead of looking through a bag, you can just kind of push around through here and find what you're looking for. So I think, see, look, these are just little dragonfly charms, and what I do is I take the, um, the ring off the top. You just take your little flat nose pliers and break that off and glue that because it's got a flat back. You can glue it right to your um, ATC card. So for ATCs, these little tiny charms, like let's say, see I put these big dragonflies on here, but you could put a small one. Or you could even use a brad and hang it, you know, from a brad, leaving the little, um, the little bail on there. So um, I think what I want to do is gather up some, I think I'll do, um, I have a couple more, um, Sorry, I can't think of that. Graphic 45 um, papers that I haven't used yet. I have, I just got these two. Good old sport and couture. So I'm going to gather up a few things from these paper lines, I think. And I'll do a little ATC tutorial. Um, this one is so cute. Oh my gosh. Aren't these just adorable? And I was, it was nice. Uh, Kara had asked me, I'm a member, I was a member at Art and Sassy and was doing some swapping over there. And I haven't seen them doing an, um, they're not swapping for the summer, but I haven't seen them doing a swap, an ATC swap. So maybe I'll do an ATC swap over at Art and Sassy, um, starting in the fall. And we'll just have themes and, um, you know, I'll, because I'm really into these. I think they're wonderful little works of art. And this way we can share them. Because uh, right now, I, and, you know, Mary Ellen laughs at me because I say they're all my little babies. But they are. Like, I'm just enjoying them and I'm collecting them right now on my own. I have them all in a book. Um, so I'll come back and uh, I'll actually, you know what, I wanted to show you one more thing. These, these are the only other things I've done since I have time. It all started with these. There was a, a tutorial that I saw, and I don't remember. They were. It was when I um, did a search for the Lemire paints for these, um, and this was one of the things I found. And she was making inchies, 
So each one of these squares is an inch, they're inchies, and she covered the backgrounds. It's the same background that I used for these, and I showed these in a different, on a previous share. She put tissue paper um, on a piece of card, and then used the different Lemire paints just randomly, um, and then did a little stamping on top. That's how she got her background. So see this one, you can see the stamping. It's very easy to see, but it's very metallic. So that's how we did these inches. And then she took it another step and used some punches. So I have these little punches. These I have, I used my heart Martha Stewart punch, these flower punches, and the butterfly punch. And just glued them on, Mod Podge them on, and then you, you can actually use colored paper. I painted them. Um, but you could use colored paper, and then you just do some, um, I use my, this one from Scarlet Lime is from, um, gosh, I can never remember her, Christy Tomlinson, that's her, um, Zibit story, I think it is, or something, and, uh, you kind of go around everything and put little squiggles on things, and for the hearts, I put XO, you know, so that, then I just, um, made these three ATCs, just kind of, I had the inchies, and I didn't have, they weren't doing anything, so I made them into an ATC. I just popped them up, um, did another background, and um, the same background as these. Um, and then I just made a little scene on here with, again, the same little um, images, like the just flowers and butterflies and some leaves. I just cut the hearts in half and made the leaves that way. But they were fun. They were fun, they were different, so a little more mixed media. Um, so that's it, that is it. But I am still making ATCs. I have some cards to make. I wanna make, um, that's why I bought, well, I might as well show you because I have a couple minutes left. I bought the envelope punch board. I had a 50% off coupon today, which brought this down to 10 bucks because I want to make some six by six cards, I think, or maybe I'll do them five and a half by five and a half because if they have a little bit of um, bulk to them, um, I'm trying to make a six by six envelope to put it in because I want to make some easel cards. So I'm planning on using some graphic 45 paper to do that with. So I just cleaned off my desk so it's a perfect time to um, start another project, but I want to do a little tutorial on some ATCs because I've just been enjoying them so much. I'm going to do the collage type, so I'm going to gather up a few. This is what I consider this because it's just, it's not true collage, I guess. I don't know. I think it is. I don't know. If anyone knows what style this is, let me know. All right. And I'd like to thank you for watching. And that's it. Thanks for watching.